storms forecast today. So I got here last night. I managed to get the same camping spot, which was a fluke, because I thought I would do a setup in the same place and see if I could do it better. As you can see, I've got a different tarp. It's a bigger one, and um, there's all knots on these ropes. I'll be looking on YouTube. But a little shout out to Corporal's Corner. I was looking at his YouTube and it said, How to set up a tarp in two minutes. Well, two and a half hours later, I finally got these two up, but they do look pretty secure. Here's the tent. This has a different tarp on it too. It's a really quite nice one. I've put a ridge line in this one. But I'm not sure. Um, but I was very lucky because last night there was a it was just me and a couple in the camp. They're they're up behind my tent, way up in the corner. And they uh, had a raging fire, so I went up there. It was great. Had a cup of tea. See over there on the horizon, little Miss Muffet? This is what you get when you don't have her on the zip line. She'll be going on that in a minute. This tarp is 3x6x3x6, by three by six by six, quite heavy. But it does come out on the wings on the side, which stops this issue I've had with water collecting on the window wings. If you can see up there, when I had a tarp that just came to here, water was leaking back. And also if I left this one up, these are designed so the water comes in, inside. It's a pain in the butt. She's back on the zip line. Finished a breakfast. Nothing for those magpies, eh, love? Good girl. There goes Corey. He's just made it. The weather's been really good, so he thought he was going to get caught out. But it looks good. There you go. El snuck out the back way. Anyway, they've left the fire on up there, so my next job is to go up and get that fire. Bring it down here. I'm not quite sure how I'll go, because it, I mean, it's lovely now. But things change. I've just walked up to the neighbour's campsite. They've just gone. I'm going to have a look at the fire. But the ranger said this is the best campsite in here. It's quite near the toilet, which is just to, to the left of screen. But would you say this is the best campsite for when there's a storm warning? I wouldn't say so, anyway. up a bit of pace clouding over and the more I look at this the more I think no it's not good enough well here it is with a three by three over it seems to cover the side okay it's coming out both sides quite nice and the back's good. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty happy with that.
little protections burnt on my fire, so let's put a dampener on that. I really must get it under cover. So I've had a look, and this seems like the better end. I'm going to rig a tarp up and get it there. Apparently tarps are okay. They're wet on the outside. We'll soon see if we'll lose the car and I'll get burnt to death down in dwelling up. Well, I've relocated the fire. I've got it here under the tarp. Here's a little bit of a drip happening there. But... One of those um, round five bit pits, you know the concrete ones? That was um, broken apart, so I grabbed one of them just to give it a bit of shelter from this splashback. The front seems okay. Um, that seems alright, but this is uh, coming on now, leaps and bounds. Well, it's a bit of a sad and sorry affair. Let's hope it gets going, but I went and got one of these concrete things from around the side and that's underneath and I've lifted up the poles but a lot of them were getting damp from all this flooding as you can see. Oh god. Uh, but this way at least I know whatever gets hot stays dry. And I've lifted up the big um this big bundy one that uh that was given off steam before. So hopefully I've got it on a couple of bricks so it keeps it out of it, but oh boy, it is teeming down. Well, wet weather camp number one has nothing on this one, although wet weather camp, the first one I went on, uh, it was storming, there was lightning, thunder, but I haven't heard anything. But this one, it just seems to be incessant rain. Anyway, fingers crossed. I think that was the secret, getting um, the fire up on some dry, something dry on a platform, so getting that concrete was a good tip. Now it's crackling away there and doing me proud. I've got a big lump of wood here, because I haven't brought the axe again. I have brought a saw, but I'm lazy. If I can burn it and keep pushing it through, it'd be great. So, um, oh, just looking at this, I was just thinking, this is not the only wet camp I've been at really really wet it has to be one of the wettest the other one was Karajini years ago when I was tour guiding I'm dry now I took my wet weather gear off but one thing I hadn't thought of was you know you come back to camp and you say oh I'll just get some dry shoes on um because these are now soaking they've been fantastic they've finally just given out but the thing is how can I wear anything that's not waterproof in here I need galoshes anyway so that just hadn't thought of that so I'll keep that in mind well the storm struck last night and that came adrift that held And my little tarp help helps, that's great. Okay, all I've got to do today is have a cup of tea, put the kettle on. That's it from Rona's Roadshow. Thanks everyone. I'm just leaving, but looks like I won't be going out this way. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Find an alternative way out.